the curve y is equal to x cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d as a stationary point of inflection at minus 2, minus 4. Find the values of b, c and d. OK, so if we write down the function y is equal to x cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d, uh, stationary point of inflection uh, involves using differentiation. So if we differentiate this, remembering that b, c and d are just numbers, so dy by dx is going to be 3x squared plus 2bx plus c, and if you differentiate a constant, it disappears. And then for stationary point of inflection, we will need to find the second derivative as well. So differentiating again, we get 6x plus 2b, and then if you differentiate a constant, you get nothing. Now, for a point of inflection, at x is equal to minus 2, the second derivative will be equal to 0. So if we put this equal to 0 at when x is minus 2, so substituting in minus 2, 6 times minus 2, 6x, plus 2b will be equal to 0. That's going to give me minus 12 plus 2b is equal to 0. 2b is equal to 12, and that gives me b is equal to 6. So if we now write out the first derivative with the value of b in it, so 3x squared plus 2b, which is 2 times 6x plus, plus c, that gives 3x squared plus 12x plus c. At a point of inflection, uh, and it's a stationary point of inflection, dy by dx will be equal to 0 as well. So x is minus 2, dy by dx will be equal to 2. So we're going to have 3 times minus 2 squared plus 12 times minus 2 plus c is equal to 0. Minus 2 squared is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. Minus 24 plus c is equal to 0. 12 minus 24 gives me minus 12 plus c is equal to 0. c is equal to 12. So if we now put our values of b and c into y, we get x cubed plus 6x squared plus 12x plus d. We know the curve passes through minus 2, minus 4. Therefore, when x is minus 2, y must be minus 4. So minus 4 is equal to minus 2 cubed plus 6 times minus 2 squared plus 12 times minus 2 plus d. So if we just write that out again here. So we've got minus 4, minus 2 cubed, you have to be careful with your minus sign, is minus 8. Minus 2 squared is 4, 4 times 6 is 24. And then 12 times minus 2 is minus 24 plus d. The 24 and the minus 24 cancel out. And if we take the minus 8 over there, we're going to get that d is equal to 4. So hence... <coughs> y is going to be x cubed plus 6x squared plus 12x plus 4. That's now in the format x cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d. So that means that b is 6, c is 12, and d is 4. If we were to draw the graph, and this one I drew with GeoGebra, here is the curve with its stationary point of inflection here at minus 2, minus 2, minus 4. If we look at the first derivative, of this curve, it looks like this. It's a quadratic. Uh, at the point x is minus 2, dy by dx is equal to 0. If we then differentiate this again, we get the second derivative. And again, at the stationary point, the second derivative is equal to 0. So this has been a video to show you how to find the coefficients of a cubic when you are given the coordinates of a non-stationary point of inflection. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.